well, the time is coming that I will not be able to answer so many comments. Many of you have been kind, but it becomes too difficult. It has been seven days since my daughter passed, and I think I just want some time to rest because you would be surprised how many people write comments. And it is very difficult to constantly answer these questions thrown at you. I don't think anybody really understands. Um, you know, it's not like I'm 50 or 32 doing these things. I am 79 and I, I labor as hard as I could, but I need to be still and quiet for a while. Just take it easy, which I'm going to try and do, although I think sometimes I just can't. Uh, it helps me not to think about or remember things. Um, but all in all, I'm doing very well. <laughs> I was thinking about one guy that wrote and said, well, if you had open heart surgery and you went through this, you are not in excellent health. Well, <laughs> tell that to the doctors that examined my heart and said that it's very strong and functioning very well, and it is excellent. Tell it to other doctors who know and see and understand I take no medicine of any kind. And actually, they all thought I should be chained to this medicine and that one. And it wasn't because I made a choice and said, well, I'm not going to take any medication because God don't want me to. That isn't what I did. What I did was, <laughs> it might be silly to you, but I forgot to take it. And when I found out that I felt so good without it, I just... I just never bothered. And the doctors, they promised so many bad things to happen. And they're shocked themselves. And I can't count the amount of times that I've walked into a doctor's office and they would tell me, I am so shocked that you're not only alive, but doing well. They're, it's, it's all a miracle that has nothing to do with me. So apparently I have a message to give out to all of you. And I pray that you take heed to it. That you really search for God with all your heart. And that you hear his voice. And I'm praying for you. I'm praying for each and every one of you. Even those of you that don't like me. That don't believe me. That want to find fault with me. Jesus Christ died for everyone. He didn't just die for me. And those who listen to me, he died for everyone. And there's not a single soul that I am against and that I hate. And oh, I don't like some of the things people do. And I don't like things that they say. But <laughs> the nice thing about it is being on YouTube, I can remove the comment. I don't have to sit there and try to answer it and try to get my mind. It's, people don't realize... Uh, when you're 79 and, and the things that they throw at you, uh, how distracting it could be to try to take me off course as to what God wants me to do. And I, I can't afford to do that. Uh, it tries to take me off course so that I can't pray effectively. I can't but see. Hmm. God always finds a way. He always leads me through no matter what happens. So, actually, if you talk about spiritual health, I'm in excellent health. I may not be where you think I ought to be. And that is your opinion. And thank God we still live in a freedom of America where we can give our opinions and we can express how we think and feel. Sometimes some people are just too hot and heavy on it. And they say it too harshly. But you know what? Some of you are very kind. And some of you will say, well, I don't mean to sound like this, but this is how I think and feel. And that's all right. I love you anyway. It's...
we need each other. Even though I was raised alone by God, I still have those that are with me. What would I do at my age if I was alone? What would I do? Ask yourself a question. What would I do if I was all alone? If I didn't have people who, who love me in my family, I'm not talking about my husband's family because that's a little bit different. I'm talking about even my family. There's not very many of them left. But I'm fortunate because the children are left and the way they love me and how close they are to me. I am very blessed. A lot of you people who get older don't have anybody like that. You don't have anybody to care how you think and feel and, and what's going on and what will happen in your life. They're not, they're, there's nobody waiting there for you. And I pray that God brings someone to bless you. You know, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm remembering a conversation with, with my husband. And uh, his big concern is if anything happens to him at 85, what happens to me? You know, God is so good to us. He's taken care of us for so long. And usually in this life, when I'm up, he needs help. When he's up, I've needed help. Fortunately for me lately, I've been up 99% of the time. And that should not be. That just should not be. But by the grace of God, it is. And so we're thankful for it. I'm thankful. You know, even my eyesight, I can't, I can't sit down and complain to God and say, well, I'm having a problem with this. Why? Sometimes I literally forget. I am so used to doing things a certain way that I forget. And it doesn't trouble me or bother me a bit. Oh, I don't want to stay this way and I would love to drive once again. But you know, I'm getting to an age where I don't even know if I want to be out of the road. So, I don't know why I'm telling you all this stuff. But one day... You will be old also, and you will be just like me. Give me a room like this one, a den, and give me a, a computer or a video or a place that I could podcast or a place that I could write my books, and I will be a happy camper if God decides that I should live to be older. That's fine. That would be great. Because the time that I spent with people like you is very rewarding. Very, very rewarding. So I'm going to close from now and make this a short video. Just letting you know that I appreciate all of you that have been so good to me. And some of you even write me letters and, and that's great. That really is. If some of you buy my book, I'm just asking you to put a review, uh, a positive review <laughs> about the book. Because a lot of people will buy a book and they won't put a review on uh, Amazon or whatever. When, when it's better if you put a review because it'll help people. You will be helping people to get these messages. So please write a re review, even if it's saying it's a good book or I enjoyed it, even, even that. God bless you. I love you all. Oh.